Pollination Pollination is commonly defined as the process of pollen transfer from anther to stigma of a flower. Pollen grains are formed in the pollen sacs which are completely enclosed by multi-layered anther pollen. Therefore, the first obvious requisite for pollination is the opening of anther sac to release the pollen grains, anther dehiscence. Depending on the source of pollen, pollination can be divided into two types. One, self-pollination, autogamy. Two, cross-pollination, allogamy. Self-pollination, autogamy. Transfer of pollen grains from the anthers to the stigma of the same flower is called as self-pollination. Cross-pollination, allogamy. Cross-pollination is further classified depending on whether the pollination has occurred between two flowers of the same part, gitinogamy or between two flowers of different plants, xenogamy. From a geneticist's point of view, jaitinogamy is similar to self-pollination because all the flowers of a plant are normally genetically identical. Cross-pollination makes sense only when two different plants, either of the same species or different species, are involved in this process. Pollination ecologists plead that since gaitinogamy and xenogamy both require similar ecological fathers for pollen transference, they should be considered under one category. Self-pollination is possible only if those plants which bear bisexual flowers that achieve anther dihiscence and receptivity of stigma simultaneously. The majority of angiosperms bear chasmogamous flowers which mean the flowers expose their mature anthers and stigma to the pollinating agents. This may brought by opening the flower or the organs may protrude from a closed flower in such a manner as to expose themselves to the same agents. Another group of plants have seeds. They do not expose the sex organs. Such flowers are called cleistogamous and the phenomenon is termed as cleistogamy which may be inherent or ecological, induced by severe environmental conditions. Commonalia bengalensis bears two types of flowers. A. Aerial flowers which are brightly colored, blue or violet, chasmogamous and insect pollinated b underground flowers which are dull and cleistogamous flowers born on the subterranean plants of the rhizome under certain environmental conditions the plants which commonly form chasmogamous flowers start providing cleistogamous flowers Inside the ovary, it consists of ovules and each ovule has an egg cell which is a female gamete. The pollen that is produced by pollen grain transfers from stamen to stigma. It moves through the style and reaches the ovary. The male germ cell or male gamete produced by pollen grain fuses with the female gamete that is present in the ovule. This is called as fertilization. Double Fertilization S. G. Navishan, 1898, was the first to show that both the sperms released by a pollen tube are involved in fertilization. They fertilize two different components of the embryo sac. The phenomenon is unique to angiosperms and is called double fertilization. The nucleus of one of the sperms fuses with the egg nucleus thus completing syngamy. This results in the formation of a diploid cell, the zygote. The other male gamete 
moves towards the two polar nuclei located in the central cell and fuses with them to produce triploid endosperm nucleus. As this involves the fusion of three haploid nuclei, it is termed as triple fusion. Since two types of fusion, syngamy and triple fusion takes place in an embryo sac, the phenomenon is termed double fertilization, an event unique to flowering plants. The central cell after triple fusion becomes the primary endosperm cell, PEC, develops into endosperm while the zygote develops into an embryo.